Turns out during his research, he found a story we did in January about a woman who had the same exact problem that he's dealing with. Our Jessica Clark is on your side tonight, checking into a parking lot that expects you read the fine print. Kind of late lunch, early dinner plans with a friend. In late February, Kevin Griffiths found a parking space in a parking lot at 50 Spanish Street in St. Augustine, close to where he had dinner plans. He paid 10 bucks for two hours, the maximum allowed at the lot. We paid for two hours of parking, and we went 32 minutes over. 32 minutes past the time they paid for, and when Griffiths got back to his car... There was no indication of any any overtime parking until I got the, the notice in the mail. The notice said he owed $45 for parking longer than he had paid for. Griffiths had missed the notice in the mail, and then a second notice came. They, they upped it to $85. And it's absurd. It's absolutely absurd. The letter also warned of sending the issue to a collection service and legal action. The parking lot is a private lot managed by professional parking management out of Fort Lauderdale. The company has an F rating with the Better Business Bureau. Various signs at the lot say enforcement by booting or towing. And if you look really closely, you'll see a sign with fine print that says you could be charged up to $85 if you violate the rules. So I didn't see it the first time. But yeah. that's why I went back the second time to look at what was there. And in just the last hour, I have seen some locals warn people who are about to park here about the lot's higher prices and the possibility that if they park here a little too long, they could get a higher bill in the mail. First Coast News reached out to professional parking management. A spokesperson told us there is a sign posted about the charges. He's right. He also said the initial $45 charge is comparable to the $35 ticket you would get if you overstayed in a city-owned lot. But in the end, the company told me it will not make Griffiths or Halliday Allen, who we initially reported on, pay the charges at all. I think it's important for people to know that what is going on. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.